guys, how are you? So today's video is going to be a little bit different because um, I wanted to do this for a long time and I get loads of inbox messages and comments from people all over the world who want to also go and study abroad or in England. I mean most of those comments are from people from Germany who want to go to England and they ask me questions. And um, I obviously, you know, I, I try and answer them, but I get them all the time, like again and again. And at some point I thought, I'm just going to make a video and, you know, I'll let you know how I did it. And maybe that's going to help you or motivate you to go abroad as well. So first, I always get asked, where did you study and what did you study? And I studied at Bucks New University, that's in High Wycombe, that is um, about half an hour in the west of London and I studied psychosocial studies which is like a mixture between psychology and sociology and I really liked it, it was really really interesting. And I get asked how did you do it? How did you do it? <laughs> how did you do it and why and you know why did you go there? I did do that because after school I decided I wanted to go out and see the world, you know, see other people and other cultures. So I worked as an au pair, as a nanny for, you know, a family in, what, well, close to High Wycombe. And I had a really good time, I stayed for six months and then I went back to Germany to study here. And um, it didn't really work, I just got loads of letters saying, no, you can't study here. So I was kind of depressed and sad and I was missing England. So one sad lonely morning, no, one morning I went on Mr. Google and I asked him, if there was a university in High Wycombe, and there was. So I looked at the website and I didn't know what to do and I called them and I was like, hello, can I please study at your university? And um, <laughs> well, it worked, but obviously it wasn't like that. I had a really nice woman on the phone, I think she's like the head of the department of social sciences. And um, she helped me, she told me all the courses, I chose that one. She you know, told me what to send her, like you know, my leaving certificate and application form and all that, and I did. And about a week later, I got the letter from Bucks New Uni saying, you're accepted, welcome to our university. And I was like, oh my god, I can go to England, you know. And I was really happy, and that's how I got in. Have to be honest though, that is not the official way. You can try, you know, I was lucky. But officially, you're going to have to apply via this website. Um, I haven't done this, so I can't really tell you, but my friends have done it. And, you know, I guess it's just like any other application website. Fill in your details, send it, and then you're going to get in, or not, but you know, I think it's not that complicated, but it's this website that you have to go through. Then I obviously get asked, how did you pay for it, because in it is like ridiculously expensive, well, it is, <laughs> and um, there is a company called Student Finance England, where you can again, put in all your financial details, and then they tell you yeah, we'll give you some money or we won't, you know, depending on your individual situation, you'll either get all the student face, uh, fees paid, plus, you know, living expenses, or just the student fees or nothing, you know, it depends. And, um, well, you're going to have to pay it back, but you're going to have to do that with any other sort of financial help that you can get anyway. Like BAföG, you know, for those of you who are from Germany. You can also apply for Auslands BAföG, you know, foreign country BAföG. You might not get it, and if you do, it's not a lot, but you can also try that. It's only for your one, though. But, you know, try it anyway, because it would help even if it's a little bit. Then I get asked, where did you live? How does it work? You know, I mean, the official way is when you're in first year, you, you, work, you live in halls, like student halls. I didn't do that, because I had no idea. I just came to England, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to study in another country. Like, so I didn't know. <laughs> so I lived in my host family in year one. Uh, which was nice but obviously after you know one and a half years then I kind of wanted to go out and fully experience the student experience and um, I did me and my friend from my course we found two other girls online and after like you know hassle and you know loads of house hunting we found a house and we moved in together that's what I did in my second year the house was horrible we had like mold and bed bugs and everything so be careful with your toys, um, but you know, you can do it. And uh, the same I did in year three, I just moved, we, we had another girl in with us and we rented a house from the uni, which was much nicer, so um, yeah. But you can do it, you just kind of have to go for it, really. And again, if you have any questions, you can maybe ask me, I can maybe help you, maybe not, but I'll try my best. And then I just wanna say, in general, I can recommend going to a foreign country or studying abroad to anyone 
and you know to anyone to everyone who's out there because it just is amazing and I know it sounds really cheesy but it was the best decision I have ever made in my life so far I'm really really happy and it sort of you learn so much about yourself and other people and all the experience that you get and opportunities and you know every day is exciting because every day you discover something new about you know the other culture and um, I think you should just go and do it go and experience the world get out get off your sofa and you know apply apply somewhere so yeah I think that's it I think that's like the main questions answered if you feel I left out anything or if you have another question whack it down below send me an inbox you know anything and I'll try and answer it as you know as good as I can I might not know the answer but I'll try my best and I hope this video inspired you to go out and you know discover the world and to go out and you know study and just meet new people and all this and um, I hope it also helped especially those people who asked me I want to go to England too how how do I go about and um, yeah like I said if there's anything left whack it down below I hope you like the video if you're not a subscriber yet there's a button up there that you can click and then you can subscribe to me that'd be really nice and you can also follow me on Twitter where we can talk and you can also ask me questions and don't be shy say hello you know and um, I think that's it for today hope to see you soon bye bye